Yay, welcome back to Frontend Topics. I am Alan and today we're going to see how to get rid of the React class-based component using this library which is called uh, Recompose. Let's start. So we have a tree. Here you can see it on the right side, uh, which is basically a group of options where you can collapse and uncollapse each group. And you also have the possibility of collapsing everything. So for doing that in the state, we have a, the collapse node, which is an array where we have a Boolean value for each group. So if we have three, like here, three groups, we will have three Booleans uh, for each of them. Then we have a handle click for this part, so we can collapse and then collapse each group. And then we have an collapse all, where we take from the state the property collapse nodes, and we just go through the entire array, and we change the value to true. And in this case, I didn't uh, say this, but the idea is that you receive the index of the option that it's click, and then you go to that position in the collapse nodes array, you change the value to the opposite, and then you set the new state. And we can see the render on the button on click. So here we collapse everything, and we call the collapse, uh, collapse all function. And then each time we click on uh, a node, we, exe we execute the handle click, like here. So if you see this tree, well, it's not that big, but we want to get rid of all these parts. So we don't want to extend from react.component because with this uh, recompose library, uh, the idea is that we can avoid that. So let's see how to do it. Okay, so let's start with recompose. Um, so here you can see that we have this uh, function which is compose, which is provided by recompose. So as any other compose function, the idea is that you can have functions where the output, the output of one function is the input of uh, the next one, and the output of this one is the input of the other one. So in this way, you create uh, a more complex function from uh, smaller functions. So more or less, this is the same idea uh, of this compose function. So what we have to do here is um, recreate the, the structure of our component. And um, for doing that, we have different um, functions that recompose provide. But for this example, we are going to use two functions with a state and with handlers. So the idea of with a state is just to represent the state that we have in our previous component. So we have these collapse nodes. So let's let's start with that. Yes, so we are going to use the with a state, which is a function that, as we can see here, it receives the prop name. So if you recall, yeah, it was called collapse nodes. So let's oh, collapse nodes. Let's use the same uh, name property. Then we have to provide um, a handler for changing that collapse property. So we are going to, let's call it um, set collapse set nodes. And for the default value, we can provide a function or just a default value, like for example, null. But as we were using before, we have the options and we map them and we create an array with everything in false. So we more or less can do the same. So we are going to receive the props in this way, and then we do something like props options, 
map a function everything false so it's the same as before right and with just with that we have a way to have uh, an state with a property with it which is collapse nodes but we also need to provide a way of updating yeah it's not uh, to updating it's more or less to yeah to update the state of the collapse nodes and for doing that we were using the handle click and the collapse all so in this case recompose also provides uh, other function which is called with handlers with handlers yeah that's okay so these functions and uh, let me put more information over here I really like um, I think this is called Hindler Hindley Miller annotation um, that it's used in Haskell and it's really clear to understand the properties that the different functions are receiving so in this case we see that we receive an object with handlers and it's returning a whole component so let's do that so we have to create the handlers here and one was handle click and we can call it yeah on handle click I think that before it was called handle click yeah but it's the same and this will always receive the props and when we have things like click um, what uh, co Recompose is doing is also providing us uh, the event but we are not going to use it and then we can create the function so more or less let me copy what we have before and you can see the differences yes so uh, we are not going to oh, what was that we are not going to use these collapse nodes here because we we actually have it in the props everything now when we use in recompose it's available in the props so we don't need that in fact we can do something like um, collapse nodes which is great and then yeah we can say okay go to this index oh, okay yeah we need the index so let's use it over here this is the index and then we cannot use cannot use this because it doesn't um, it doesn't make sense and we want to get rid of this and the whole thing that it comes with the create uh, base classes um, so what we are going to do here is just use what we have here set collapse and that also it's going to be available in the properties so set collapse nodes set collapse yeah nodes collapse nodes and that should work yeah and we also have a second uh, handler for the collapse all so in this case let's create an on collapse all and let's see what we have to do here so once again we need the collapsed nodes property so if you recall the idea was to go through uh, every collapse node and change the state to true so we are going to use that collapse nodes map true let's and let's use once again the set collapse nodes because that's the way of updating our, our state And I think that should be enough. And with the enhance function, 
we can use it to inject all the properties that we have here. So which are those properties? So we have the collapse nodes, we have the set collapse nodes, and now we also have the on handle click and the on collapse all. Everything is going to be provided by this handle function in the props. Let's use our compon previous component and refactor with the enhance function. Let me copy this. So as we were saying before, the idea is to get rid of the whole base class component. So we just want to have a tree equals to a function. So we are going to remove all this stuff, but we, are, we of course need to leave the render. And now it's where the whole magic start to happen. So we're going to use the enhance function that we built before. And here we are going to have all the properties. And then we need to re uh, return the render function. So I think just doing that and adding something more here yeah it should be more or less that so we now need to inject all the properties that we have from here so we have the collapse nodes we also have the on handle click function and the on collapse all and also the options. Now we have to go to this on click function and remove what we have what we uh, had before and let's use the on handle click. No here it's collapse all sorry on collapse all. We also need here we have to get rid of this handle click and we need to stay uh, to still pass to the function the index so let's remove here and we can create a function maybe in this way oh no we don't need this because we have the index from here so we just need to call the on handle click with the index and let me see if something is still pending so we don't need this dot props because we can just use the options and if you check in the right side we already have our list of items but still this is still not working let's see and um, okay they can collapse and then collapse but ah okay the problem is this thing so once again we can collapse everything and then we can uncollapse the items yay it's working so to wrap up this example the difference is that here we have less code lines and we don't need this uh, the this everywhere anymore because recompose is injecting the properties everywhere so i won't say that this is more functional this is just a pattern where everything is injected in every function and it's available everywhere. So that's why then we can use it from here. And um, yeah, and if we look at, at, at this, it looks more elegant. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next frontend topic. Bye.